in this question uh, we have been asked the uh, minimum number of times a fair coin must be tossed so that the probability of at least two head is at least 0.96 for that purpose we can subtract the two cases from one first all tails so this is going to be half raised to the power n minus one head and remaining are tails so this is going to be nc1 into half into half raised to the power n minus 1 and this is at least 0.96 so this is greater than equal to 0.96 now this is going to be 1 minus n plus 1 upon 2 raised to the power n and this is 24 upon 25 now we can simplify this and this is going to be 1 upon 25 and this is greater than equals n plus 1 upon 2 key power n cross multiplying we get 2 raised to the power n n plus 1 25 if we will put n equals 7 this side is going to be 128 and this side is going to be 200 which is of course false and for this n equal to 8 we can see this is 2 raised to the power 8 that is 256 and this is 9 into 25 that is 225 and we can see this relation is correct so the value of n equals 8 and the correct answer for this question is in question number 48, it is a PNC question in which it says that let n be the number of ways in which 5 boys and 5 girls can stand in a queue in such a way that all girls stand consecutive. So in this case, we assume all the 5 girls to be one unit and then we have got 4, 5 boys. So in all, we have got six units and these six units can be arranged in six factorial into five factorial ways. So this is actually the value of n. After this, what it says, m is the number of ways in which these five boys and five girls can be standing in a queue so that exactly four girls are consecutive. That means the constraint is on the girls. So while counting m, what we will do is we will first arrange all the five boys in the line arranging five boys in the line makes five factorial ways now we'll basically form two bunches of the girls one bunch will contain four girls and the other bunch will contain one girl so out of these five girls first i will select four girls five c four so four girls, let's say I choose G1, G2, G3, G4. I will consider them to be in a cluster. And then there is one separate girl, G5. And there are six gaps. So out of these six gaps, first I will choose two gaps. Let's say I have chosen this gap and this gap. Now having chosen these gaps, I will put these two objects in these gaps in two factorial ways. Having done that, I will arrange these four girls amongst themselves in four factorial ways. So this is the counting of M. This five factorial is for the arrangement of five boys. Five C4 stands for choosing four girls out of the five. One remains. There are two uh, units. We have got six gaps. Out of six gaps, we choose two gaps. In those two gaps, we put these two objects in two factorial ways. Having done that, these four are arranged in four factorial ways. So the question ultimately asks us the value of m upon n. So it is easy to see that m upon n when you do, you are left with 5. So answer to this question is 5.